Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be reviewing the Chrysler Pacifica. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with this Pacifica. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 19 around town and then 28 on the highway with power outputs being 287 horsepower and then 262 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you're gonna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, nothing crazy happens here on the hood with the Pacifica. It's pretty normal. Anyways, the grill's been blacked out, including the Chrysler logo, which is an interesting look. And then you guys can see here with the headlight design, how the bezel's been blacked out on this. And then same thing with all the trim down below that has also been blacked out. And putting it all together, the contrast between the black and the white with the Pacifica, I think looks pretty sharp. Now around the side here, our turn wheel setup is 245, 50, 20 in the front and over in the rear. You can see with the wheels getting darker with the coloration and then the mirror cap again blacked out you got all the window trim also blacked out as well and then here is your full side view with the pacifica now take a look at the key fob we have our lock and unlock function we got the opening for the hatch remote start we got this for the doors and then the chrysler logo on the back now popping into the rear you can see we've got a bunch of straps that are nicely labeled uh, this has the stow and go set up so you can fold the seats down uh, if you want to have kind of like a flat loading floor and then you do have a 12 volt here in the back and then look at the storage here on the side that's great when you're all done just press that and then it'll lower the hatch right back down now here's a quick look at the taillight design and then notice the chrysler logo right there and then pacifica s down below got parking sensors here at the bottom as well and wrapping it up, let me know you guys think about the looks, but I think the Pacifica, it's cool looking for a minivan. <whistles> Automatic doors. Now here are the seats with this S package. You can see perforated all down the center. Got really nice stitching there as well. And then legroom back here is good. We've got a little storage net, got some USBs, some more storage there. Well, cup holders to be exact. And then headroom back here is good. And then this shows you with the uh, stone go sitting how it folds into the uh, floor, not the window sticker. Don't worry about that. We'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, you can see it's flat. We'll put this uh, up front over there. And then with these uh, back seats, we can actually just kind of go right back there. Look at this. That's nice. Legroom's good. This is interesting on the side. Got some cup holders. Uh, these seats are nice. They've they're perforated down the center and everything. And then headroom. It's also good. Now take a look at the front door panel, you get soft touch here, and then look at the soft touch and the stitching. All of our window controls front two are automatic. You've got your memory seat function, blind spot running with the mirrors. And then we've got the stitching there, the S logo, perforated all down the center portion. Power adjustments on the side. Got your light controls here as well. And then you can see the soft touch and the stitching on the dash. Now take a look at the steering wheel. Again, soft touch all around. You got the stitching there on the center portion. Radio controls on the back. Got stuff like our adaptive cruise control. We've got controls for center stack, voice command, phone controls, all that. And then your stocks there on the back too. I like the look at the gauge cluster here. So analog on either side, and then you've got the screen in the center, which you can use to see different bits of info on the van. Just regular backup camera, trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel as well. And then as for the resting infotainment system, it does take a second for, well, that's more than a second for that to load up. Or is that just, let's see. Okay, never mind. It was just because that little tablet. Oh, no, no, that is, that is taking a second. Anyways, you got the dual zone climate, heated seats, heated steering wheel, all of that. It's pretty easy to use. And then again, nice soft touch all over the dash. Shifter for the nine speed automatic, got your parking brake here, analog controls for the radio, notice the parking sensors and lane departure, and then analog controls for the climate. Got some USB ports down below, and then, yeah, that's definitely nice. A little 12 volt there at the bottom, and then more cup holders here, and then you can see the storage. That's, that's another cool part with this. There's so much storage built into this, it's kind of crazy. Uh, and then with the glove box, that's far away. Solid, uh, and then no center for anything like that, but we do have some controls for the doors here up top. So here's our window sticker for this Pacifica. Uh, you can see the standard equipment on this, which is quite a bit of standard, actually. 
And the S appearance package, which makes it sportier. There's your total MSRP, 46,590. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do apply as wiring. Go through the rest of the rear. And let us set off in the Pacifica. I think minivan names are so interesting. Sienna, Odyssey, Pacifica. <laughs> I think Odyssey makes maybe the most sense because you know the Odyssey and it, minivans are usually family vehicles that you put lots of miles on going on adventures. So I think that one, I think that name makes the most sense out of all of them. But initially setting off, you know, I, minivans are nice. The ride quality on them, it's, it's pretty comfy. Now I will say over, over bigger compression points, yeah, you do kind of feel the harshness a bit, but it's not bad. It's not bad by any means. Smooth ride overall. So it does have that going for it. Man, there's so much water on the, where's this water coming from? It just, it just keeps dripping down. It is so annoying. Ah, attack of the water drops. Seats are comfortable too. So I think that's good. And I like this trim quite a bit. It's not like the nicest material on the planet, but feels feels sturdy, feels well built. And this control stack, everything seems pretty self-explanatory. You know, just looking from the perspective of you know driving it, looks like it all makes Quite a bit of sense. Easy to use. Smooth. Definitely a smooth feel. Ooh, Civic Type R. Those are cool. Pretty good power too. For again, for a minivan. For a minivan. Yeah, see this road's nice and smooth. So this, <laughs> this is where the minivan does really, uh, the Pacifica does really well. It's on a road like this. Let's turn this off. Man, that is, okay, I don't care about your software stuff. Just turn that off. We do not need our climate controlled right now. <clears throat> but we'll get our last acceleration here. Again, not the fastest on the planet, but it moves. It moves. So, summing things up with the Pacifica, the regular one. I think I already did a review on a hybrid earlier this year, or last year, for 24, whatever. You guys get the point. Uh, with the regular one, I, I think it's just solid. I think it's just probably, that person is hauling. They're gonna totally hit that person. That was, that made me uncomfortable. Why do people drive like maniacs? Um, anyways, yeah, I, I think this powertrain's good. It's it's decently, you know, it's for V6, decently economical. Um, drives pretty well. Features are nice. It's, you know, it's under $50,000. So I think that's also pretty reasonable as well. Um, the only thing is this one doesn't have, this one I'm pretty sure doesn't have all wheel drive. I didn't see that as, yeah, no all wheel drive. Uh, you can get all-wheel drive with the Pacifica, so it's not like it's not an option, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the Pacifica. Let me know if you'd get this over the Odyssey or the Sienna. Um, I've, I've, I don't know. I think that they all have their pros and cons. I think the Pacifica is kind of like the... Yeah, I'm not even going to try this. This is too tight. I'll go around the other side. Um, I think the Pacifica is kind of um, the classiest, if that makes sense. It feels kind of the most modern out of the bunch. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on minivan life.